getting lazier when it comes to cooking as I get older. Cooking for myself can often feel like a chore, especially as I want fresh ingredients, freshly cooked most of the time, and that tends to take more effort. I want to throw all the ingredients into a cooking pot, and apart from checking how it's all going halfway through the cooking cycle, I want to just turn up at the final beep with a perfectly cooked meal. This video is about my attempts to achieve that. I've been experimenting with my Russell Hobbs Satisfy 5.5 quite a lot over the last few weeks, particularly comparing the air fry and roast functions, both of which use both the top and the bottom heating elements to see if there is much difference. The roast function only uses the fan intermittently. Finding the best combination of cooking temperatures and times has been a bit of a mission when cooking a single person portion as my personal preference is to have my meat succulent and my vegetables cooked with a hint of crispness. So here's my conundrum. I've been finding that the Satisfry has a tendency to carbonise any food in contact with the cooking pot with the default settings and whilst it doesn't quite burn the meat and veg, it comes pretty close. In comparison, when my daughter was visiting for a week and with food for two amply filling the cooking pot, there were no problems, nor have I had any problems cooking food from frozen. To make the comparison vaguely valid, I used the same ingredients every time. So basically, a nice piece of lamb, one carrot, one parsnip, one sweet potato, a couple of potatoes, and mushrooms and tomatoes in every meal. I turned everything over and added the mushrooms and tomatoes halfway through the cooking cycle. So here are the results using the default settings of 20 minutes at 215 degrees in air fry mode and 30 minutes at 190 degrees in roast mode. The burning effect is most significant in air fry mode and whilst turning the temperature down kind of worked, the potatoes didn't cook through and any increase in the time at the lower temperature tended to give the same carbonised result as before. My best guess is that the cooking pot gets so hot with the bottom element so close that when there is relatively less food to suck in the heat then it has a tendency to burn. Given the limited success I had with simply changing cook times and temperatures, as the cooking pot gets very hot regardless, I thought I would try to reduce the intensity of the bottom up heat. Enter stage left my favourite Falcon enamelware pasta plate which fits perfectly in the Satisfry and is big enough for a single serving. Success! The Falconware plate did a decent job of taking the intensity out of the cooking pot heat. For air fry mode, I just kept the settings the same. For roast mode, I increased the temperature marginally to 200 degrees and kept the time the same at 30 minutes. Any which way, for single portions, these setups work well for me. However, I do find that results can be just a wee bit variable with or without the falconware pasta plate and despite the food being pretty much the same every time. I have to say that I actually find the air fried option makes the food a bit too dry for my tastes and for the sake of waiting another 5 or 10 minutes, my personal preference is to select roast every time. I've got to say I'm very pleased I bought this multi-cooker version of an air fryer and the Russell Hobbs Satisfry seems to have the flexibility and hopefully the potential to get a bit creative with my cooking as well as delivering the basics. It's all good.